I fix it's on a mission to teach everyone how to fix everything, but electronics repair can seem scary if you've never done it before. Oh, scary. <laughs> That's why we asked the top tech YouTubers to come together and explain why they think DIY repair is so important. Some shared their favorite repair experiences. I think my most vivid repair memory is uh, back when I just come out of university, my wife had a laptop that she had used for all four years. And it was getting a little slow, a little long in the tooth. The way Dell made the laptop was that in order to replace the hard drive, you had to take out the entire motherboard. And so I had to rip it out. And then I see, oh wait, holy crap. I can replace her i3 with an i5 mobile processor that I can pick up on eBay for $50 instead of having to spend six to $700 on a brand new laptop. Others focus on the issues facing the repair industry. Make no mistake about it. If you cannot fix it, you do not own it. Manufacturers don't want you to fix stuff. They know that when you fix it yourself, they lose. There's companies out there like Apple that will literally void your warranty just for pulling a screw out of your iPhone. A lot of companies we work with like to stick warranty void if removed stickers all over their products. A lot of people don't know that these stickers are actually illegal. If you know how to work a screwdriver, you can keep your electronics alive much longer than you're supposed to. You know, I used to think that phones were these magic black boxes that you couldn't open unless you were a highly trained technician. Replacing a phone battery is little more than a couple glue strips and, and a few screws. It's far better to keep a device working and in the hands of someone who will use it than grinding it up for its component raw metals. And they all taught us how to explore our tech and helped us believe in ourselves. It's actually amazing how much money you can save and how little time it actually takes to repair devices rather than just replacing them. You might not consider yourself a repair genius, but everyone can fix something. I didn't have to, you know, I could just do it myself. Looked it up on the internet, easy peasy. It's not really, you know, I don't think it's in the realms of being a genius. It's in the realms of being somebody who's interested in finding the knowledge out for themselves, going online where you've got this massive resource for free virtually sitting there and just, you know, just having a go. But the first step in this movement starts with you, believing that you're allowed to and capable of repairing your own devices. And when you choose repair, you're literally saving the world. And that is genius.